Yeah, like, they right do it a lot. They do it a lot. Watch this. Watch this video right here, right? Watch this video do right it here. At very high levels. Hey, yeah. The only reason I'm stopping you is your test, man. I know. I, for the, uh, I, the already, I already got. You got over it? Yeah, I already what got it. But it was like just hey, so, 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, shit. I swear. But I already I got my script on me. Oh, did it? Yeah, he Who let it go. It to you? Uh, it Birmingham or somebody else? Uh, Royal Oak. Oh, Royal Oak? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You have the ticket with you? Uh, I got the script. My okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see that real quick. Yeah, it's in here. So he got a prescription for these tents. These tents are illegal in this jurisdiction. And he got, but he has a prescription for the tents and he's been pulled over twice in like an hour for it. Um, <laughs> and here's the thing. The tents are, see, this is what you call having your car smacked out. So you can't see who's in the car, right? right. And they're still calling these cops racist, even <laughs> though you can't see who's in the car. They're saying that this is, this is, this, this shows racism because this black guy has been pulled over twice. Even Who's though that, uh, the people the comments in the chat, on this video? in the chat, yeah, the oh, person okay. who made this video and the chat, the person who made the video and the chat. Hey, Austin Hill, Birmingham. Hey, the only reason I'm stopping you is your tents, man. So I know. I, for the, uh, I, already, I already got. You got over it? Yeah, I already what got it. But it was like just ten know? minutes ago. Yeah, oh, shit. I swear. But I already, I got my script on me. Oh, did? Yeah, he who let it go. It to you? Uh, it Birmingham or somebody else? Uh, Royal Oak. Oh, Royal. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, you have the ticket with you. Uh, I got the script. My okay, yeah, yeah, let's see that real yeah, quick. Right. It's in here. Where are you headed to today, man? I was just cruising for real. Cruising, yeah. All right, and the insurance good and everything, yeah, of course. Oh, you got license and the insurance on you, yeah. You say you just got a ticket today? Well, I didn't get a ticket, I just got pulled over to my tents. Oh, okay, yeah, I, just showed them that. I, I didn't get a ticket. Just... Okay. Oh, they can show that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let me take a look at all this, make sure it's all good. I'll be right back. All right. All right. <laughs> Second time. Y'all remember that one cop that I had? He said you can't have dark windows on the back or something. At least this cop knows the actual tip. He said the cop said that. He didn't say the law said that. He's making it seem like that cop personally was like, hey, man. I feel like you shouldn't be able to do that. not that the law he's enforcing the law. I got pulled yes. over twice in one hour before. Yeah, me too for seatbelts. When that seatbelt shit first started in like 1999, <laughs> I had they was enforcing it heavy in um the DC area, and um I had I got pulled over twice because I never used to wear a seatbelt, but I got pulled over twice for having my a seatbelt. Was, my brake lights was out, but I didn't trip. I just. He trailed me to like an auto zone and I went and got a light bulb and he helped me put the light bulb in and that was it. Yeah. Um, but here's my thing though. The juvenile mind of some people, and I'm not, I'm not saying that like um it just is what it is. Like they approach it as if the individual cop is just making a judgment call on the law. You know what I'm saying? And not as if the, that's, that's, why point. I say, that, that's as, as if the law is a overarching foundational thing. And if you violate it, then you get a, the law enforcement officer engages you. They look it's, at it as like it's arbitrary. It's the abstract thought part of it. Exactly. It's the abstract thought that that the law is always there. Let, let me read the comment section of this video, man. Um, I didn't see. know you can get prescription for tents and windows. Yeah, you can, but it's rare. It, it, it's, it's, it's very rare. So it's like the odds of some sun man having a prescription for tents is like one in a million. It's very rare. So they're trying to use this as if this is like the typical black experience. Um it says, like this one says, I was pulled over a few times with my tent. Then the cop asked me, how can I afford the car I was in? I told him I work just like he does. Yeah, because that's what's happening when you, you know, get pulled over. Hey, man, how can you afford this car, son turd? Um, yeah, he needs to change his tent. And, and, and that's not going to occur to him. Here's the thing. He's not going to go to a lighter tent 
where, you know what I'm saying, he's going to keep his car completely black where you can't see in it, even though that's against the jurisdictions of the area he wants. And the only way the cop can find out that he has the script and he's not someone violating the law is to pull him over. And the fact that the sun man doesn't see that, like, wait a second. I got to get pulled over to let them know that I have this piece of paper that says I'm one of the only people in the city that actually can violate this law because of my um, eyesight. Why he just won't wear shades? Get a lighter tint and then wear your shades when you're driving. That's a great point. I didn't even think, I even, I didn't think of that. That's a hell of a point. Damn, that's a great point. But that would be too, it, 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 like, I didn't think of that, so I'm sure he didn't think of that. He, he might never think of that. And nobody around him will ever think of that. And that, you can't fix that. If you try to fix that, and you got kids, or you got a wife, or you got a business, and you spend time trying to fix that, you're a piece of shit, man. Um, walked up, putting the gloves on, ready to snatch you through the window. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn. Um, he says, I believe this is Michigan, outside Detroit. And I can tell you, you this happens a lot the suburban cities of detroit have less than 20 percent population than black people yet they make over 90 percent of the tra all traffic stops in these areas well so what does that tell you and they don't think of that they don't say well damn if that's the case what does that tell you we need to do better with our driving wear our seat belts stop running the stop sign Get your brake light fixed. Take your tags. I mean, we need, as a people, we should look at that and say, hey, black people, we can pulled over too many times over bull crap. We need to, you know, work on getting everything together on our car so the police can, you know, leave us you alone. Know, you know damn well that'll well never said, happen. Brown sugar. I know it yeah. never happened, but I'm just saying, like, we always come together for other stuff. Hey, Chicago, Officer Chicago, what are your thoughts on this situation, man? Officer Chicago? He might have fell asleep, man. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, so it says, please be careful when you're going in the glove compartment for paperwork. Please tell them what you're doing in advance. I can't stomach another murder. <laughs> when there's, when there's, when, when, when there have been like fucking 50 murders in that city. <laughs> when there's <laughs> sons around, there's bodies to be found. How would it yeah, turn to a murder? That doesn't even make any sense unless the sun boy do something stupid. Yeah, this is this is um okay, and this woman she and this she doesn't understand her comment. She says, Somebody said, How do they know he's black with the windows tinted? Cops will get behind a car unprovoked and run tags. Once you pop up as black. Well, that's that. Plus, they automatically equate dark tint with black people. So if dark tints are illegal and they automatically equate dark tints with black people, that means that black people are breaking that law are the only ones that break that law. And guess what, ma'am? He's a law enforcement officer. And if you, if the fact that she doesn't understand that, you cannot fix that. Yeah, so yeah. when they do the data and it shows that, well, it's a mostly black people getting pulled over, they it's like they want everyone to be equal. You know, they want the white people to get pulled over too. But if white people not, not driving around with their windows tint, 
then it's not it's never going to be equality with that in that area yeah and and if in in the the implication is that if that they that they're pulling over these cars with the that a that a violent specific law and if they're pulling over these cars that are violating this specific law and you can't tell who's in the car but the, they're they're like okay we know that these are black people in these cars because black people are the only ones that violate this specific law when they do pull over a car and there's and they, they roll down the window and it's a white guy in there the implication is that what they let them go or they don't like <laughs> give them a ticket well, like, like you know, what I'm saying this, oh, they get some kind of favorable situation in that um, outcome in that situation because they're white. So it's it's like it's like even when they they never take any responsibility, they always project this um, sense of privilege on the white people. Like this guy, what exactly did black people do to be hated by every community? Man, don't get me started, man. <laughs> At least he's asking the question. <laughs> Don't get me started, man. Um, 